Hey yo, what's good YouTube family? It's your God bless one. Sean Cotton Say Cheese. Look, Sean Cotton Say Cheese, salute to you. I'm about to talk about something on this video. It ain't no beef. I actually respect you a whole lot. I kind of follow the platform to a certain way to do certain things like you, but not like you. So if anything, I root for your success. Shout out to Say Cheese TV. But I gotta say, cause Goyeo is locked up and Goyeo couldn't say it for himself. I'm going to release a video with proof to show what you did, educational purpose of the Goyeo situation. I hope you don't mind. It's not making a beef, but it's explaining the situation. Now, Sean Cotton, three or four days ago, I think maybe four or five days ago, he released. I, I should have been at that video, but I didn't. A lot of things was kicking in. I'm in the middle of a process right now and moving. Now, you posted something on Say Cheese. Instagram channel and it was like, you know, you basically asked the people and yeah, you tell me if I'm wrong or not, Sean Cotton. And it was about when Goyeo didn't didn't sign the QC. And you like telling people basically would they have done the same thing? What would have been the choice? And did Goyeo messed up? Something to that extent. You know what I'm saying? Now the shit that got me. Like you tell me if I'm wild or not, Sean Cotton. I remember Goyeo sat there. And he made a video years ago and said the reason why he didn't sign with the Migos and all them, not with the Migos, but with they label QC, which is Coach and P. He ain't signed with Coach and P because he said Sean Cotton, the owner of Say Cheese TV, Sean Cotton was his manager and shit. He said Sean was the dude who told him don't sign the contract and turn it down. Now, Sean Cotton, I need you to clarify if I'm wrong or not, and I'll take this video down, I'll clarify the video the right way, and I'll make a new one. I'm a real one. I don't chase the views. I do these videos based on how I'm feeling today. I don't have nothing scheduled, and that bothered me to see that. Wait a minute. I heard the GOAT himself, Go Yayo, say this. Go Yayo even expounded upon it when he was with you. I seen him with you on a video. Again, tell me if I'm lying or not. But I'm about to bring these receipts out, Sean Cotton, because I don't want one of these little flustered fans to be like, oh, I'm capping or whatever. You literally told the man not to sign with QC in them, bro. And maybe, maybe Sean Cotton was thinking like a good manager, like you ain't supposed to, you know, sign off on the first deal or the first big folks in them who hit you up. I don't know, bro. Maybe... You know, Sean Cotton wasn't uh, alchemated at the time to it because we know Sean Cotton had Glock 9 and a whole lot of other people. And I feel like Glock 9 should have stayed with Sean Cotton. Glock 9 got with Birdman and all that. But Glock 9 didn't calculate. Birdman got a lot of artists. And I, I feel like Glock 9 wave started going. It wasn't just because the arrest. And all the wars he's going with with other artists like Hot Boy, allegedly in Orlando. It was a whole lot of shit. It, even before his homies died or whatnot, bruh. I said it. I, I said, Sean Cotton is a smart individual. You seen what he did with Spot Him Got Him? I remembered when he signed Spot Him Got Him. Spot Him Got Him been viral in Florida. Sean Cotton, one of them dudes who can see a dude and be like, Let's start from scratch. We're going to build right here. You got to salute him. So I feel like when he looked at Goyeo situation, the nigga was like, Goyeo is bigger than what QC is offering on the table or whatever. But what we can't do, though, are we making fun of the Goyeo situation? You can't now tell a nigga not to sign with one of the most fastest growing label, if not management team out there. They got Cardi to everybody, little baby. You cannot do that and use that example. I'm not saying you try to ridicule Goyeo, but to real ones, it's almost like you laughing at the nigga's situation or you bringing attention like the nigga was a fool to not sign with QC. Most people will say he's a fool to not sign with him. I ain't going to hold you on that. Come on, like, why wouldn't you sign the QC and Coach P right now? They brand is only going up, up the city, girls. We, we can keep going. Moray. There's so many other people on that artist label platform that has got their name relevant even the ones who have left at least you know their names the right way big facts big facts bro rich the kid all of them came from that label whether he signed to them or not they all came from the team management of that situation so how do you take the situation bro like if i know i'm the one who told go yale not to sign that deal i wouldn't even be playing around with that man name like that bro 
I guarantee you all my life, if Goyeo sees that situation and sees what you posted, he going to feel some type of way. You tell me if I'm lying or not, Sean. And again, I rock with you, bro. Ain't nothing you did out here for me to make any video against you or anything like that. This was just one of them videos that made me feel like, damn, my nigga. You know what I mean? Like, shit look crazy, bro. Like, you can't post something up on there to make your mans look wild out here, bro. You just can't do it like that, Sean. It don't look good. It looks disingenuous, my nigga. Like, you told that man not to sign. What part of that a lot of y'all don't understand? It ain't me causing back and forth. Sean Cotton looked at a situation that could potentially change a young man's life forever. Y'all put that in y'all head so y'all can see where I'm going with it. Then you tell that young man, Goyeo said he wanted to sign it. Goyeo said this. Man, I wanted to sign it, but you know what I mean? You know, this, this Sean Cotton dude told me not to. That, that, this is his word. He didn't even say they hate on you or nothing. Like, I got to respect Goyeo. He looked at it as a situation where he got to blame himself too because he went with the role. He went with the move. He could have, you know, like exhibited more of a discomfort. Like, nah, Sean, I want to go with this deal. But he did it. He went along with it. But that's just Goyeo being loyal and putting trust and loyalty into his management team. I just wish the management team... I'm not going to say do it all over again and sign a contract, but the former management team would be considering that Goye was in jail right now. He's not out for the count, but he's down bad right now. You know what I mean? Why out of all the things you can post? I mean, you're Say Cheese TV. You viral anything you post. Why post a failure situation like that? When your hands is just as dirty, more than Goyeo, if not, you supersede what he, he, he is in that situation. Why would you release that shit, bro? That, that's, that's the only thing that took me off guard. That level of failure should have added your name. You should have added on the, the top of that. Now, salute to everybody. Years ago, I told Goyeo not to sign with QC, and it was one of the worst decisions. Now, what would have you guys done? If you would have did it like that, then... Salute to you, King. But that ain't what I seen went to place and what happened, bro. You flipped the script, my nigga. Like, the whole thing got turned. Like, what's going on here, bro? Goyeo is that nigga for real, bro. Goyeo has changed not just Texas music, bro. I'm not going to just say Texas, bro. A lot of you rappers out there that done stole that man's style. And I see you niggas completely ran with it. Hey, Goyeo, grow your hair back, my nigga. You are the Super Saiyan that we need right now in the rap game, my nigga. Because no disrespect to Sauce Walker, you took a lot of your flavors that you say Drake and all these rappers and Famous Dex and them stole from you. I'll be watching, bro. Go, yeah, you'll have me. He, he turned that flavor into a new, different flavor. And you, 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 you even took a little bit from him, too, and I ain't mad at you. You know what I mean? But Goyeo's that nigga for real. And his name shouldn't be played with like that. Niggas making him an example. A nigga do a fucked up deal. It's like, hold on, man. His career ain't over with. You don't play with rappers like that unless they fell all the way off or something. Goyeo ain't fell off. The nigga is in a bad position right now. So I still stand on it. I feel like Sean Cotton was wild for that. He was wild for that. If you a real one, you're going to feel some type of way too, bro. Like, it is. Hold on. You cost that man multi millions of dollars, bro. You did, bro. Like, I'm, I don't, let me not beat around the bush. I rock with Sean Cotton. But when I look at them dollar signs, I look at what could have been. You cost him that. And now you you kind of, I'm not going to say making fun. I doubt that Sean Cotton is making fun of Goyeo. But you're using his downfall to make money and get some type of content. It look weird, bro. That's why I'm doing this video. Like, is it beef or something, my nigga? I know it ain't no beef. But what, what, what was the point of posting about Goyeo was supposed to sign the QC? He told real fans already. He told us years ago. In fact, he said it while sitting next to you doing an interview. When you told him not to sign the QC. Quality control have saved so many dudes out here who could be kicking in doors. Who could be dropping the bag and, and, and doing a different type of scales with the fish scales. You know what I mean? To see dudes change their life. Salute the coach and P, bruh. They, they got to and have to have seen something in Goyeo to be like, we about to put Texas on the map, our style, our way. And you took that from the king. Now you making videos 
that's damn near making fun of the dude, bro. Like, you may have not intended to make fun of him, but people are taking it out. I see the comments. Oh, gay, go, um, go, yeah, yo, is dumb. Oh, he cost himself a bad. He felt. And that's the type of line. Why would you start that type of wave of people saying that when Goye will come home? Because I believe he is coming home. Let me knock on wood. When he comes home, he could have used that magnifying field for his attention. Now he's going to have everybody saying, oh, you fucked up. You could have signed a QC. Nobody needs all that, bro. All I want to know is everything cool if you want Goye, yo, dog. Could that look wild suspect to be releasing something that you caused? Man, I'm your God bless woman. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Come rock out with the most winningest team over here, man. I smoke hip hop rock. Flat like a rock. Get sat like a rock. It's all about the rock. Salute to all of y'all, man.